Hello and welcome to a new tutorial for Open Computers. Today we want to take a look at the file system and see how you can write and save programs. First we want to take a look of the structure of the file system. An overview of all files and folders in the current directory can be retrieved with the command ls or list. In the root folder this would return the folders bin, boot, lib, mount, temp and the file init Lua. In the bin folder you can find all the standard programs which can be run from everywhere, like ls. The boot folder contains system programs that are run on startup. They are used to initialize the environment and some background services such as component management. The lib folder contains libraries like sites or colors. In the mount folder you will find one folder per file system. All file systems are automatically mounted in this directory for convenience. In the temp folder you can create temporary files. Everything in this folder will be deleted when the computer shuts down. The file init.lua is the first script to run when the computer is started and initializes the rest of the system. To create a new program we change into the temp folder with the command cd temp. A new program then can be created using the edit command, for example edit hello Lua. Here we can now write our code, for example print I'm a computer. By pressing Ctrl S the program is saved, Ctrl W closes the editor. To run the created program we enter the name of the file either with or without the file ending. For the program to be available after reboot or to distribute it onto several computers a hard disk drive or a floppy disk in a connected disk drive is needed. With the command mount we can get a list of all available file systems and paths they are mounted at. We insert a hard disk drive or a floppy disk in the disk drive and repeat the command. We can see the address of the drive and the automatically generated path in the mount directory. With the command label we can now change the name of the drive. With the parameter minus "-a", we can tell the program to use address of the drive instead of a path it's mounted at. So we can set the name of the command label minus "-a", address, name. Note that the path in the mount directory remains the same. To additionally mount the drive in a different location, we can do this with the command mount label path. When we create a program on a drive, it remains available after a reboot or when removing the drive. The mounts, on the other hand, will not remain. To not having to run the mount command after every reboot, you can create an autorun program in the root of the drive. This program is automatically executed when the drive is connected to the computer and when the computer starts up. That sums it up for this time. Thanks for watching. Until next time.